And hello from the beautiful American South. We're in the city of Atlanta, Georgia at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It's Lecce up against Juventus. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. So we can check on the starting lineup. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Danilo starts alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Filip Kostic plays with Juan Cuadrado in the wide positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And the contest begins... Trying to really get at the opposition here. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Locatelli. Vlahovic. Juventus have given it away. McKenney. Keeper had work to do. to go short look at telly and he takes on the shot able to get a body in the way a foul it most certainly was free kick given Christopher Askielsen. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising.
keeper at fault. And a fine stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, they get the ball once more. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Dusan Vlahovic. And it's with McKenney. Real chance. On a pass that lacks quality. Quadrado. Can't miss, surely. It's still alive. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. One nil then. Number seventeen, Philip Kostic. Really a very poor ball. Quadrado. And Keane. A sloppy pass. Well, very effective play in possession. But they dealt with the threat posed. Offside, a tight one. Offside anyway, albeit a tight one. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Locatelli. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Juve throw in forthcoming. Quadrado. Now Rabio. Danilo. Well, he's given us away. And an effective clearance. Cisse. How about the cross? Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Beautiful pass. Another well, flag has gone up here. Offside it is. <laughs> A 
and intercepting it. Now that pass easy on the eye. Vlaovic, is it going to be? And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Moise Keane. Can he put it away? Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So 2-0 now. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. And they get the ball rolling in the second half. Juventus with the advantage. Vlaovic. A real opening now. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. taken short and Quadrado feeds it in well in fact a good but straightforward claim by the keeper Strefeza he has teammates around him but they took care of the situation defensively bodies forward and the break looks on will they profit from this situation Rabio, chance to finish. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Vlaovic. No nonsense clearance. Well, Juventus have been dominant in every department. Just look how many chances they've created. They've been excellent today, I have to say. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Well, the supporters think it's on. Attention, JDLs. Your loyal responding on the road. Straight at the goalkeeper then. Locatelli. Plenty of support here. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Cisse. And they know they need to stop him. Quadrado. And it's still on for him. There it is! The goal! No stopping them today. Well, as we see it again, just watch how well the cross is delivered. Low, hard and accurate. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there.
This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Cisse. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Terrific save. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Keane. Moyes Keane. And the keeper was up to the task. And the Juventus personnel change here. And played short. And blocked for now. Not trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. And the referee has caught up with him following his indiscretion earlier. It's a substitution for Juventus. Delivering it. And beating the defender. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Weston McKenney. Here's Keane. Vlaovic. Is it going to be? And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post. But I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Just 10 minutes to go. And a throw in it's going to be. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And still danger here. Well, they can keep possession now. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And able to close down the shots. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, nothing comes of it. Rabio did well to win the ball back. Conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Delightful pass. Chance to finish. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Who can they pick out? Clattered away. Pabrado. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. And over it comes. It comes to absolutely nothing. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me.